Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I just want to share with you guys a little tip here on how to record video capture your Apple TV to your computer uh, wirelessly. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using the HD60S Elgato. This is the one that I have. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because the other day I was actually recording game capture for the Nintendo Switch and there was an update when I opened the the video game capture applications for, for the Elgato. And once I updated the application, right, it gave me a summary of all the things that has been added and all the improvements. And one of the improvements or the uh, new features added was the ability to record from your Apple TV wirelessly to your Elgato. Now, I tried it and I loved it. It works pretty good. So that's the reason why I'm doing this video is a new feature added and i think if you have one of these and these you might want to know it so let's go ahead and show you guys how it works okay so here we are with all the devices connected my apple tv is actually connected to the tv of course using hdmi and one thing to keep in mind for this to work almost flawlessly you have to use wired connection um, you cannot use wireless connection because if you do there's going to be a lot of lag it would work for a while but then it's going to start stuttering and lagging so it is recommended to be on the same network of course and you also need to be using wired connection to, on your computer like like you see i'm using here and on the apple tv you also should be connected using the wired connection as well like you see here on the video um and after you do that and everything's connected to the same network uh keep in mind i i'm also i'm also updated on my computer to the latest Max Sierra update. So that's the reason why I actually got this update when I when I opened the game capture application, which is this one right here. Um, then it gave me the update saying, me, hey, there's a new feature for your Mac Sierra update for this application. So that's what I did. So here on the El Gato, all you need to be connected is just one cable. One cable that goes from the device to the computer, and that's it. Because remember, we, we don't need the HDMI cables connections because we're not connecting it to a console like the Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So all you need here is a simple connection, just a USB cable connected to the El Gato, and that's it. Let me go ahead and connect it because it's actually not actually connected. So there you go. Once it connects, you see that little lights going off and all that. That means that it is properly connected to the computer and that's it. So now let's go ahead and switch back over here to the program, right? That we just opened, which is the application that you use to record a gameplay. If you use this before, you already know. So I'm not going to be explaining how you record gameplay here. So over here, if you use this application before, you know that when you connect an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch, over here, you're going to see the console that is actually connected to, right? So right now, after the update, you're going to see this right here, right? It says Elgato Game Capture. When you hit on it, you're actually going to see Apple TV. Look at that. You're actually going to see Apple TV. Make sure you select it right make sure your apple tv is on as well right of course you make sure that's on and right now you're gonna see here it says uh device available video will start only after approving the connection some devices require entering a code or accepting the screen sharing so all you gotta do is hit it right there right the tv is actually gonna say hey on the TV, you're going to see this huge message is going to say it's the your screen will be shown on Marco's MacBook Pro or and may also be recorded. Uh, you're going to choose allow, right? So you're going to have to choose. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using this controller right here because uh, this controller is actually compatible with um, Apple TV. But you can use the you can actually use the this controller, which is the default controller that you use to navigate and all that. But um, I actually used like to use this one to navigate and also if I want to play video games all I got to do is click right there right but all you got to do is right there see you got the options to don't allow or allow make sure you choose allow and voila that's it you we have full connection let's go and click here to full screen uh, that way the app this um, program can actually full, play in full screen like that like see there and now we can go ahead and just hit the record button and start recording if you want of course here i'm just going to go ahead and edit this right here and put um the video title apple tv capture that way i can use it for later on when i'm gonna edit the video 
And that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you have that connection done, make sure you, like I said, what is really, really important is that your computer is connected wired to the comp- to the to the internet, and your Apple TV connected wired to your same internet. Once you do that, the connection should be really, really good. It should feel really, really flawless. So right now, I could just go ahead and hit record. Right, it's recording the screen already, and I could just go ahead and navigate around. Let's go ahead and navigate around here. And you can see there, navigate around. And right now, it's actually recording everything, all the movements that you see here. So if you like doing like tutorial videos for applications, like right now, if I want to open the Amazon application, which is one of my favorite applications here on the Apple TV because it lets me shop uh, on the TV. So like you see here, you see all my history. Not my history, but my recommendation based on my shopping experience here. So I could go ahead and go through them. I could click on one of them, you know. Oh, look at this, the Daredevil figurine. And I can order it from there if I want. I can see the pictures available as well. So it's a it's a really cool application here. Um, and that's it. So that's what's awesome. So if you want to do, oh, look at that, the Punisher, which I already finished yesterday. Awesome show. Really, really awesome. Really gruesome. Uh, but really awesome. Look at that. Looks pretty damn awesome. And let's get, and get out of here. Then get out of here right there. And of course, you're going to do video capture for applications if you want to do that. I also tried Sling TV and it actually works. I could actually watch TV right here on this computer. And the audio, the good thing is that also the audio from the Apple TV is also being shown over here on your computer. So right now, if I want to, like for example, let's go in God of Rome. Let's go and load this game up. Okay, so here it is connected already. Show me configuration for the game. You can go ahead and play there, so play there. So like you see there, the audio is actually coming from the from the computer itself. So we go ahead right here. Yeah, go yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Athena. We're gonna choose her. So yeah, so when I was started recording, well, I was gonna record some video gameplay for the Nintendo Switch the other day. Uh, it just prompted me an update. So when I when I was reading the update, what was new in this update? It actually showed me that you can now record wirelessly, and that's pretty damn awesome because that saves me a lot of time when I'm trying to um, do some video capture for the for. Um, for the Apple TV. That's the reason why a lot of times it's been a while I don't record gameplay or video tutorials for the Apple TV is because uh, I don't want to go through the hassle of connecting and disconnecting stuff, you know, and doing it like this wirelessly and it works so, you like, see there, there's no lag. You don't see no lag whatsoever. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot worse, and I already I already have recorded a couple gameplay just to try it out and see if there's any lag whatsoever. But no, you know, once you have the connection using wired, it will you it will be a good connection. Now I did try wirelessly. I did try wirelessly. I did have the place the the Apple TV wired, and the computer was wirelessly. So because I actually forgot to connect it. And at first, it was working really good. At first, the you couldn't notice the any lag whatsoever. But once, it, once, um, once I think after a minute, also, um, there you go. After a minute or so, it started lagging. The controls started lagging. Um, the, the screen started pixelating. So yeah, then I noticed. Holy crap! Wait a second. <laughs> the the computer is not actually connected wired to the compu- to the internet. So once I connected the computer to wired to the internet, it fixed the problem. It started working flawlessly just like it did before. So yeah, that's it. So I just want to share this video with you guys uh, just in case you like doing video capture for the Apple TV. 
And, um, you know, just like me, sometimes it becomes a hassle. And um, now I think this is a very cool feature because now you could just go ahead and, and record, um, you know, application tutorials for your Apple TV here or game player tutorial. There's a lot of great games available for the Apple TV. And that's it. So, guys, I hope this video helps you out. Just decided to share with you guys because, like I said, it's a new feature. Now, I'm using the HD60S Elgato. Um, I'm pretty sure that it that this feature is still compatible with other applicate with other versions of it because there you got the HD60 and you got the HD, which I think is just HD. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's actually compatible with every Elgato version. I'm pretty sure. Um, anybody out there with an older ver version, just go ahead and try it out and let me know in the comments if it actually works for you. Please leave it in the comments if it actually works for you because that way it will actually help everybody else, you know, um, reading the comments and searching for answers. Now, there's also going to be a new version of the Elgato coming up later on in the future. I think it's going to be a, an Elgato that's going to be compatible with, um, I think it's going to be compatible with um, 4K. Yeah, it's going to be compatible with 4K and that game also. You know, that, of course, definitely should also be compatible with this feature. So, guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share this uh, new feature with you guys and let you guys know that yeah, now you can actually record wirelessly from your Apple TV to your computer using just the Elgato. And that's it. That's all you need. The Elgato uh, wired connection. You're good to go. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.